now we're going to focus on this painting that you've been looking at today. Who can tell me what is happening? Magic Lantern is an educational charity that runs interactive art history workshops in classrooms around the country to show that anyone can enjoy and understand art. We all get to go into detail of the story behind this painting. Dear Diary, it's me, Susan Jonathan. I'm not surprised. This day was like most days. Nobody bought my flowers. It was freezing. My feet were aching, but I battled the cold. We can give him practically any topic. Children playing in the winter. Christmas. Snowman. Snowman. And it's also fun. One, two, three, freeze! Often the paintings will have hidden things that, you know, Matt will ask them to look for. Uh, so they just really enjoy that kind of quest of finding out, you know, as much as possible. This is one? Yeah, very good, that's enough, thank you. Perfect, just one each. You got this one perfectly there, with a lovely gown and a crown, that rhymes. Every response from every child is received with a, a really positive response from Matt. Can you see the star? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well done, the star is up there. So all the clues are there once again. The artist has put all the clues, and in fact, there's another clue. How did Jesus and Mary get there? Did they, did they call an Uber? What did they, what did they do? They rode on a donkey. Can you see where they've parked their donkey? Have a look around. You have to get closer and closer. Come on, where have you seen it? Well done. We see pictures that artists have made and we identify exactly what it means and why the artist has put it there. And there were like loads of kings around them. And I thought that was really weird because normally kings don't don't go and see babies like that. That's brilliant, thank you very, very much. It draws out responses from children who might not join in in, in a traditional educational setting. It, it does build confidence. It means that they're able to articulate their thoughts, whether it's about the narrative of the painting, what's happening there, or the technique, the style of the artist. and we just have to like sit down and have to like draw a paint or something like that. But in Magic Maps, we can just stand up. And Matt has really clever ways of getting the kids involved. So whether they're striking poses that they can see in the paintings or giving sound effects or he uses a speech bubble, which is really great, so that they can say the thoughts of the character. How do you feel about what you're doing? Thank you very much. He always creates inventive ways to teach us. Oh, that's lovely. Wow, that was a lot of emotion. OK, as a class, after three, <laughs> let's hear the sad dogs. One, two, three. <laughs> that's great. I love the fact that they, they can now look at a painting and basically hear it come to life. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, okay, okay. OK, and now the kids are going to stop. And now the crows are going to stop. And now the dogs are going to stop. And now the fire's going to stop. And now the footsteps are going to stop. Guys, that was amazing. Thank you very, very much. Well, there was one of the paintings where there was a young girl selling flowers, and we thought about why she was selling flowers um, and a bit of background information, and we wrote a diary entry. They think I don't notice, but I hear every last remark. All the stay aways and the don't touches, and worst, the oh mys. One lady dressed up in so many ridiculous furs that she looked like a bear and could barely walk, took one look at me, hid her child behind her and veered around me. To top it all off, I only made one penny. I'm just a normal, lifeless speck in this dreadful city. I reluctantly discovered a new hole in my dress. I've also uncovered a settlement of fleas in my ear. Unpleasant as they are, they are better company than the drunks at the tavern. 
they are amazing at uh, em empathetic reactions. They, they put themselves in the picture. It helps me think more about the characters in the story, and I think it develops my brain to empathise about people in real life. There is something that is going to light up Christmas. I think he wanted to highlight the people and say Christmas is not about presents and what you get, it's about what you already have. I think that is a really, really lovely thought, and I, I totally agree with you. Well, I really like writing, so I might be an author. I also love acting, um, and I might want to become an architect. When I'm older, I would like to be a footballer or an engineer or an actor. I want to be a scientist and I want to find like an easy cure for cancer. A vet, a steam engine driver, or a... And these guys would row very, 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 very fast like this with these very narrow oars. And the way it links to fishing is that they would go out from the land to the fishing boats, and the second that the fishermen would get all this fresh, lovely new fish, they would race back to the land super fast. It was a bit like Amazon or Deliveroo or something. They would get there as soon as possible with their fresh fish. It's fun and it takes you a break from like your usual lessons like m maths, English, science, geography. Geography, and it's just like to learn about painting and like find um, things that you never saw in a painting if you know it. Maybe it's somebody is trying to climb the tree. I'd like to see them in real life, see what the artist was thinking, what type of brush or tool they used. So we're going to bring this picture into a 3D setting, OK? We tried to make some figures out of foil in our art class, and I made two figures, and that they were children, and I used cotton wool for snowballs, and I put them in the hands. It is important, I think, to have a range of artists so that children know that you don't have to be a white man to be a famous artist. And it, it is funny, sometimes I'll get a child to come to the front to be an artist, to, to pretend to paint the screen. They always say they need a beret. I like, um, I think, Vincent van Gogh, the one who draws um, sunflowers, because they're yellow, and yellow's my favourite colour, so... Um, I do try and recreate them sometimes, and they do turn out really good. That would have to be Frida Kahlo because of her life story and what she did. I like how when things got her down, she still rose to the top. They will go to galleries because they'll ask their parents to take them, and the next time I see them, they're so eager to tell me that they took their parents to see X and Y painting, and they told them all about it, and then their parents had to check on the caption, and it was right, and that's very exciting to see. We have a chance to share our opinion, and it makes us feel like we're important, and we can have a say that's valued by people. <laughs>